guys, during this video, I'm going over a product review of Dr. Schultz's Mail. What's interesting about this supplement, this is the one of the only supplements I, I take that is a dropper. So the suggested dosage is 60 drops in two ounces of water. Stay tuned because I have some uh, alternatives to this product that I will I will talk about a little bit towards the end of my video. I don't, I don't like this product. I give it a big thumbs down. I rate it three out of 10. A few things wrong with it. Number one, it is a huge inconvenience to take. The reason for that is because you're taking 60 drops in two ounces of water. Let me just elaborate more on that. So you're, for me, I didn't want to start off with the whole dose because it has some pretty strong ingredients, but you're in essence just like measuring one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that's such an inconvenience. I like my supplements where I can capsule them. I can put them in a Ziploc bag, have my afternoon stack and we're done with. But this, considering that you're taking 60, 60 drops in two ounces of water, two to four times daily, that's the su suggested dose. You would expect it to do it to do something. However, second thing I don't like about it, it just didn't work. Its effects were negligible. I noticed essentially nothing. I review a lot of nootropics on this channel and what you'll notice is if a product doesn't work, I'm completely honest about it. There has been a lot of nootropics which work with other people, did not work for me. And that's the that's the thing about nootropics. It's really a journey. There's a lot of things which you have to just keep on trying, keep on trying, take cycles on, take cycles off, and really know if it's something that works well with you. What I liked about this product was the ingredient profile to begin with. It has some great ingredients. It has Yohimbi bark, which is which, which has a lot of evidence that it should improve your sexual drive, improve your testosterone le levels just for a short term. Um, there's several different types of ginseng root, which is supposed to decrease your stress levels. They also have saw palmetto, which some people um, do actually report that it does help them with their testosterone levels, just, you know, um, anecdotally. So the ingredient profile looks good, but I would guess it's just underdosed. The it's a proprietary blend. One, the 60 drops. That's 1.5 milliliters. It says ml. I don't like it. Um, in terms of who this product is appropriate for, are maybe people who are who have testosterone levels on the lower side, either low testosterone or people who are like mid range to low testosterone levels. They are the people that may notice a slight boost in testosterone levels, not necessarily with their body composition, but more for their mood. If you're somebody that's expecting to get ripped with this, meaning have more muscle and have less fat and just have great, better workouts, don't expect that from a, a natural testosterone booster. However, you will, in, you may, just may, um, observe that you have like a better mood, you sleep a little bit more deeper and wake up a bit more refreshed. That were some of the signs I noticed when I was taking some natural testosterone booster. The ingredient which I found most effective is Tribulus, which I can I will link in the video description because I think this is a great product. If you're somebody that again has testosterone levels on the lower side, you can benefit a lot from taking this product. Something like a gram in the morning and in the evening, you'll have better sleep. You'll wake up just essentially more drive and more ambition. And that's the reason I love that ingredient itself, that product. Um, now Foods produces it as well as Allmax. Some other um, testosterone products which I've tried and have not noticed anything from are fenugreek. I've tried deaspartic acid, um, saw palmetto by itself. I, um, yeah, many more, honestly, not, none of them really did anything for me, but the mood improvement was very significant when I was taking Tribulus. So for that reason, it's the one product which I do take on a daily basis for that. However, again, this is just, cons this is just taking into account that I'm somebody with, unfortunately, like testosterone levels in the mid range to the lower range. Reason being is because I've lost about 20 to 30 pounds and I've, um, yeah, I'm just kind of working to maintain a weight that my body doesn't want to be at. You know, there's a saying like to look good or to have a physique that really is beyond your, your, your potential. Like for me, this is my normal body fat level would be maybe 17 to 18%. I'm maybe like a 10 to 12. Your body kind of hates you. You're always hungry. So for that reason, my testosterone levels are a little bit lower. I'm okay with it. My sex drive is still okay. But Tribulus is a product I like a lot. Specifically, Test Freak has a uh, Test Freak is a proprietary blend, which um, I, I would also recommend. I'll link that in the video description. It seems to really work well. As far as this product here, the only thing it really has, which um, did intrigue me a bit is the Yohimbi bark because Yohimbi itself, it's not a, it's not an ingredient that's going to help your testosterone levels long-term. However, it's supposedly just does have like 
a, like an acute effect of increasing blood flow for maybe a couple hours to improve your sex drive. That being said, this product did not work for me. Um, I don't recommend it. Uh, that's Dr. Schultz. He has a lot of products. A lot of them are very good. Um, not this one. The, the taste isn't awful, but it's you know something you can work with. This is 60 milliliters, very expensive. Hope that was helpful guys, and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.